My name is Callie Say, and I'm here at Trans West and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, right off I-25, you can see the mountains on a clear day, and we sell wonderful horse trailers. So we are a new Cimarron and Logan dealer. So if you're looking for a new trailer with warranties, those are the two brands that we carry here. We try and keep a really big stock of inventory. These days, a lot of people are putting their names on our orders coming in and they're customizing them to make them exactly what they want. For those of you that just can't wait and you really want something right now, we also carry a big range of used inventory and we love getting our Cimarron's back in on trade. So right behind me, I've got a 2006 Cimarron 5 horse gooseneck. This is like an elite trailer, trainer's trailer. I think it was before its time as far as storage and usability. It's not a small trailer. It's 30 feet, nine inches on the floor. You're seven six wide and seven four tall on this one. So if you've got slightly bigger horses, this is the perfect setup for you. If you want this du duplicated in a new build, something we can always put you on our schedule for and get you quotes and drawings. And we can, you can have something just like this one in a 2022 or 2023 model. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This was one that actually came in on trade. So the new owners, they bought a bigger trainer's trailer and they used this one, they loved it, but it just didn't haul enough horses for them anymore. It's a 2006 Cimarron North Star five horse gooseneck. We'll come back at the end for that stock number so you guys can check it out on our website. Underneath here, when these trailers come into TransWest, they go through a multi-point inspection so that we can make sure that the brakes, the bearings, the electrical, the jack, the tires, they're all in good working order so that you can drive down the road with this being confident that you're not gonna have any issues. So on this particular trailer, this one came in and the jack, the hydraulic jack, was no longer functioning as it should. So we actually went in and replaced this whole hydraulic jack it wasn't a cheap one, but it needed to be done to make this trailer right for the next customer. Under here, you have your battery box. And on this trailer, they actually have their battery disconnects on the side. Something you didn't usually see on older trailers, so it's kind of nice that it's got one there. Those battery disconnects are nice because they help prevent your battery from draining down if you accidentally leave a light on in a manger or somewhere that you can't really see. It's just a really nice little fail safe for you. You've got your override on your hydraulic jack. So if you ever need to, if you ever run your battery down all the way, you can hand crank this up and down. However, it's much easier to use that button there. So on this length of the trailer, on current trailers, you usually see a lot of the tack and everything on this side here. But in the, in the past, a lot of the doors were actually done on the driver's side. So the driver jumped out of the truck, they could easily access their front tack or their front dressing room. On this trailer here, you've got big bus windows on the hip side. So you can get lots of airflow, load lights on the exterior, a big rear door. This trailer, they actually replaced the tires on it right before we got it. So it's got nice, good, uh, tires underneath it. They're 2020 date goods. I'll show you guys on the other side there. It's running on two rubber torsion 8,000 pound axles. So you've got a lot of axle underneath this trailer. All those bigger, bigger horses. When we get these trailers in, we run them to the acid wash. We make sure the tires are all matching and within date and have nice, good, even wear and tear. We want our used trailers to be the best used trailers out there. So we do spend a lot of money making sure they're right for the customer because we're going to um, put our branding on these trailers. We want to be proud of the product that we put out onto the market. So in the stall area here, some really cool features. You've got this big rear door with this big window. They added a ramp on after the fact. So this was something that the customers did. You've got these big mangers going all the way to the front, up to the escape door. Kick mats on the interior. And you've got these big dividers. They're partial dividers with the extended bars over the hip. 
And then on the first stall, you've got this big stud divider with the extended bars, solid by the head. You're solid by the heads on the actual mangers themselves. So if you've got horses that um, make nasty faces and at the horses next to them, they're not going to be able to see it. But this is a really nice feature on this first stall because if you've got horses or hay or anything in this first slot, you don't have to worry about it sliding back and you can stack it pretty high in here. You've got lights over each hip side. You can really see what's go or they can see what's going on if you're loading in and out at night. And then you've got roof fence over each stall as well. So you can get a lot of air moving through here. So on this side over here is where you're going to get a lot of your wow factor on this trailer. Having the mangers go all the way to the rear end of this trailer gives you so much additional storage underneath here. You've got the really big manger door on the side of the last stall, which allows you to have a lot of room. And then you've got drop downs over each stall with manger door access under each one as well. So I know on a lot of trailers, some people will go in and try and save some money by just doing a manger every other door. This trailer, like I said, was a little ahead of its time. It had a lot of really cool features on it that we still use today. So I mentioned that I would point out um, where the DOT code is on these tires. So when we get them in, we wanna make sure that we're within five years of the date of production for these tires. And if not, we are gonna replace them. So right here on this trailer, I believe it's this tire, yep, this tire right here. Your DOT code, the first two digits are your week of production, the second two are your year of production. So you can see these were produced in the 45th week of 2020. So got nice, good, heavy duty tires on this trailer, which is really nice. It gives you a little confidence running down the road. Big, nice drop down windows with the safety bars here. A little different style than our newer Cimarron's, but they're still one solid welded piece. So you don't have to worry about all those moving parts breaking over time. This trailer is a 2006. So just the testament to how good these Cimarron's hold up that um, you can kind of see the quality that went into them even back then. Another big manger door here in front of the wheel wells just makes it really, really easy. You've got tons of storage underneath there for everything that you need. You've got an escape door on the first stall. So if you are using that first stud divider for additional storage, it's gonna make it really easy to get in and out of there without having to unload your horses. So you can get in, grab coolers, um, hay, anything like that, without having to worry about bothering your horses on the other side. So this is one of the things that I think is really cool about this trailer is this mid tack so this mid tack on this trailer uh, actually is it's four feet by eight feet on the long wall you've got tons of bridle hook storage here you've got your two tier removable saddle racks with four blanket bars these are all adjustable so if you need to change it up or if you need to add on additional saddle posts those can easily be added on to this one they're new style this is kind of the older style that we had on there, but it's something that can still just get slid right on there. You've got this whole wall here carpeted as well. More bridle hooks along this side. So this mid tack is like a trainer's dream. You have so much uh, space for storage and bridle hooks. You can bring everything from your barn. Rubber mats in this mid tack allows you to make it really easy to clean in and out. So it's just a nice little upgrade on this one. And then of course the fold down step on the exterior. This trailer is seven six wide, so you don't have very much running board there. It really makes it a lot easier to get in and out of these tack areas. Nice little brush box on the door to your front dressing room. And this front dressing room is a five foot by five foot. So you're gonna be five on the on the head wall and five on the hip wall. Huge shelf 
for lots of additional storage. And then this clothes rod that goes all the way underneath. I know a lot of trainers, they're always hauling a lot of, a lot of show clothes. They want them to stay nice. They want a nice separate area where they don't have to worry about getting um, all their saddle pads and dirt and grime mixed up with kind of their nicer, cleaner area. We've got additional bridle hooks here. If you're not hanging in bridles, it's a great place for coats and jackets and ropes. Up here, you've got another clothes bar. <laughs> so you literally have so much room to hang things. If you need to air this out, get a little air moving through here, maybe on a hot day, this is a little crank up window vent. So that, that camper style vent will come up, allow you to get a little more air moving through here. As well as you've got two windows up in the nose, which you can open and get a little more airflow in there as well. Down below here, we have a 12-foot boot box that goes all the way across. It's not only a nice place to sit down, but it also gives you a lot more storage under here as well. So for its age, 2006, the last owners took extremely good care of it. They used it a lot. It was their show trailer, but it was also serviced and, and maintained, and they did a really good job of, of taking good care of this one. Once again, nice little fold down step. Makes it easy to get in and out. So I know you guys want to kind of check this one out. This one is currently sale pending, but if for any reason that changes, it will be available on our website. You can always check out the stock number or reference the stock number because we can pull up the old build sheets and we can duplicate something just like this. So the stock number is 5U. 210926. It's a 2006 Cimarron North Star 5 horse gooseneck. I personally would love to answer any questions you might have on this trailer or any other trailers. We build a lot of trainers' trailers through this location, and it's one of our favorite things to do because trainers usually add a lot of really cool features that we carry on into our inventory trailers later on. So if you want to reach out to me, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970. 309-6368. I can let you know what we've got coming in, what we've got on order, and maybe what other used trailers we might have that might work for you. So thanks for tuning in with me today. Everybody have a great weekend.